Regrettably, many of my cherished values and principles like my dignity have been left behind in the past. Everyone is always on the hunt for priceless artifacts such as the Titanic's paintings or even the Holy Grail. People go to extraordinary lengths just to get their hands on these legendary objects. Would you like to explore a few of them? You could be the fortunate one to find them. These are the world's most wanted lost objects. If you haven't already, consider taking the time to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for more quality videos daily. All set? Let's get started. Number 10. The Maxburg Archaeopteryx The Archaeopteryx was a species of flying dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic era. The study of arc fossils has established links between these airborne predators and the birds that inhabit our skies today. Unfortunately, Archaeopteryx fossils are extremely rare with only 11 ever having been discovered in researchable condition. One of those is the Maxburg Archaeopteryx, a lost treasure that hasn't been seen since the death of its owner in 1991. Following the fossil's discovery in a German quarry back in the mid-50s, the quarry's owner, Edward Oppich, sent it away to be examined by a geologist, who confirmed it was an Archaeopteryx fossil, an extraordinary find considering only two others had been discovered up to that point. Unfortunately, Oppich was an eccentric loner with a short fuse. Though, he agreed for the Maxburg Museum in more time to display the fossil for a time. Sale negotiations with the Munich State Museum fell through and Oppich refused all further requests to view or study it. Instead, he took it home and hid it under his bed. Now, almost three decades after his death, the whereabouts of the Maxburg Archaeopteryx are a total mystery. Some say he sold it to a private collector. Although, experts are skeptical that anyone else would have acquired it and been able to keep it a secret all this time. Considering it's not been seen for such a long time, the most believable theories are that Oppich either hid his treasure or took it with him to his grave. Number 9. The Holy Grail One of the most renowned Christian relics, there has been a great deal of debate regarding exactly what the Holy Grail is or was. The subject of several popular movies, including Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. The most common depiction of the Holy Grail is a goblet fashioned out of gold and adorned with beautiful gemstones. But rather than any material value, the cup may or may not have, the real reason why the Holy Grail is so sought after is that Jesus Christ himself is said to have drunk out of it at the Last Supper. Then, a short while later as Christ was crucified, it was used to collect his blood and act now symbolized by the ceremonial wine drinking we see at church services today. Treasure hunters are still searching for the Holy Grail, but even if anyone were to find it, they would have a hard time proving it. In 2014, two Spanish historians claimed to have found the goblet at a church in Leon. A study confirmed it was made within the right sort of time period, but scientists have no way of confirming whether it was indeed the cup of legend. There are said to be around 200 Grail Cups in existence around the world, and nowhere has it actually been confirmed that the Holy Grail was even a cup. In fact, some scholars have gone as far as to question whether the Holy Grail ever existed at all. Number 8. The Lost Faberge Eggs If you're interested in lost treasures, you're bound to have heard of the fabulous Faberge Eggs. Manufactured by Imperial Russia's House of Faberge between 1885 and 1917, these stunning objects began life as extravagant ornamental Easter gifts passed between Russian monarchs. Tsar Alexander III commissioned the very first Faberge egg to give to his wife, Empress Maria Fyodorovna, for their 20th anniversary. The Empress was so taken with it that Alexander appointed Faberge as the Imperial Crown's official goldsmith. These stunning works of art were crafted using precious metals and exquisite gemstones. Each one featured its own unique design and contained a surprise inside. It's believed as many as 69 Faberge eggs could have been made, although historians can only confirm the existence of 57 of them. The lost imperial eggs include two that were given to the Empress as Easter gifts in 1888 and 1889. Called the Cherub with Chariot and Necessary respectively, these names are almost all we have to go on today. Precious little is known about the eggs, their designs, or the surprises that lay within, and there are several others missing too. 
Another of the lost eggs was made in 1897, three years after Alexander's death. The Empress received an egg called Mal from the couple's son, Nicholas, the second where it is now. Nobody knows. But the surprise three small heart-shaped photo frames that open out into the shape of a three-leaf clover is in the possession of Russian billionaire and avid Faberge egg collector, Victor Vexelberg. Number 7. The Amber Room We're only a few entries into this list, but it's already clear to see Russia knew how to do opulence. Case in point, the Amber Room. Originally, a gift from the King of Prussia, Friedrich Wilhelm I, to Russia's Peter the Great, the Amber Room was just that, a 180-square-foot room with walls made of amber and gold leaf, six tons of the stuff to be exact. The room was so stunning, it was nicknamed the Eighth Wonder of the World. Over 200 years later, the Nazis invaded Russia and began looting the country of its most valuable treasures. Wondering at the wisdom of trying to shift six tons of fragile amber out under the Nazis' noses, the Russians attempted to hide it instead by wallpapering over it. Sadly, the Nazis saw through this ingenious plan. The Amber Rune was dismantled and sent to a castle in Königsberg, Germany. There, it was reconstructed and displayed for a while. But as the war headed into its final act, the room's valuable components were boxed up and hidden away, never to be seen again. Some historians surmise that the Amber Room was destroyed by Allied bombers, targeting the castle, while others suggest the Nazis attempted to smuggle it out and may have lost it somewhere along the way. Several groups of treasure hunters profess to have found the Amber Room, even as recently as June 2019, but so far, the Eighth Wonder continues to elude us. Number 6. The Hanjo Masamun Goro Mudo Masamun is widely regarded as the greatest Japanese swordsmith. Whoever lived and the blades he crafted are among the most valuable and sought-after weapons in the world. One such blade is the Hanjo Masamun said to be one of the finest Japanese swords ever made and missing in action since the end of World War II. The Hanjo Masamun was originally the property of the Takagawa Shagunate passed down from one shogun to the next. The story goes that Oshuji clan general Hanjo Shigenaga survived an attack by an assailant wielding the blade and took it for his own. When Shigenaga ran out of money, he was forced to sell the sword, but it eventually wound up back in the hands of the Takagawa clan. It was last known to be in the possession of Prince Takagawa Imasa, who died in 1963. When the United States occupied Japan following the Second World War, they outlawed the production of such weapons and the Hanjo Masamun was apparently one of over a dozen handed in at a police station in Majiro, Tokyo. It's said that the police then handed the sorts to Sergeant Coldy Bymore of the Western Pacific Army Forces Foreign Liquidations Commission. But this is where the trail goes cold. The blade hasn't been seen since, and to this date, its whereabouts are unknown. Number 5. The Ark of the Covenant Another biblical relic, the Ark of the Covenant is a gold-plated wooden chest said to contain two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, a staff once carried by Moses' brother Aaron, and a pot of manna, an edible substance considered to be a gift from God. Referenced in various versions and books of the Bible, the Ark is believed to have been constructed either by Moses or under his supervision. The Israelites revered the Ark, carrying it with them across the desert for 40 years. Later, the Ark was captured by the Philistines, who went on to suffer a great deal of misfortune, leading them to believe that it was cursed. Still, that hasn't put treasure hunters off trying to find it. There have been several reports from individuals claiming to have discovered the Ark's whereabouts, with some even purporting to have possession of it. Possible locations include Mount Nebo in Jordan, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, and the tomb of Tutankhamun. Number 4. The Irish Crown Jewel The theft of Ireland's crown jewels is one of the country's most infamous unsolved mysteries. The Irish crown jewels were two pieces of elaborate jewelry, regularly worn by the Sovereign and Grand Master of the Order of St. Patrick. The crown jewels were last worn by the 7th Earl of Aberdeen, then the current Grand Master of the Order. They were then transferred back into a safe where they were last seen on June 11, 1907. At some point during the following month, the jewels were stolen. Part of a larger haul that also included several of the Bedgewell collars worn by Knights of the Order, 
Collectively, the Irish crown jewels have an estimated present-day value of over $3.7 million. Number 3. Caravaggio's Nativity Michelangelo Marisi da Caravaggio was an Italian Baroque painter, was and born in the late 1500s. His painting titled Nativity with St. Francis and St. Lawrence took pride of place above the altar at the Oratoria di San Lorenzo in Palermo, Sicily, until it was stolen on October 18, 1969. The perpetrators of the theft were never identified, although it's widely believed that the Sicilian Mafia was responsible. Even more mysterious is what actually happened to the painting after it was stolen. Some say it was destroyed while others think it may have been lost in the 1980 Urpinia earthquake. Whether it survived or not, the painting is now valued at an extraordinary $20 million and features on the FBI's top 10 list of art-related crimes. Number 2. The Jules Remit Trophy You may not have heard of the Jules Remit Trophy, but what if we were to tell you it was the original prize of the FIFA World Cup? First held by the 1930 champions, Uruguay, the cup was stolen not once, but twice. First in 1966, then again in 1983, and it hasn't been seen since we're not likely to find it either as investigations into the theft suggest all six kilograms of gold-plated sterling silver were melted down and sold. The new FIFA World Cup is even more extravagant made from solid 18-karat gold. However, winners don't get the actual cup, but rather a replica cast in gold-plated bronze. Number 1. The Florentine Diamond One of the most famous gemstones of all time, the Florentine Diamond has a fascinating story. It was originally made for the Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, who was said to be wearing it when he was killed at the Battle of Morat in 1476. It was pilfered from Charles' corpse and thinking it was glass, the thief sold it for a measly two francs. It passed between several different owners over the next 400 years, eventually ending up in the hands of Charles I of Austria. It's believed the 137-carat yellow diamond was stolen by someone close to the family and whisked away to South America sometime after the end of World War I along with other crown jewels. What happened to it after that remains a mystery, but it was valued at approximately $25 million in 1922. That means it would be worth around $380 million today. So, whatever happened to these incredible relics, do you think we'll ever see any of them again? Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.